Hey, welcome everybody to Shame on News. And uh, we've got some stuff for you today about Choppy Choppy, your PP. Uh, Jake, who's reading this story, Dave or Jake? Jake, go go for it. All right. Well, New York Post went ahead and uh, shared a, a thrilling story with us. Hell hath yeah. no fury like a woman scorned. So a jealous wife in China chopped off her cheating <laughs> husband's penis as he slept. So she cut this thing straight off, right down the middle. He goes ahead, gets a, uh, emergency medical treatment, has surgery. They're able to sew it back on. She then sneaks into the hospital room and hacks it off again, <laughs> takes off and tosses it out the window. See, and they say this stuff only happens in America. It's bullshit. It happens everywhere. See, it happened in China. And don't they, don't the Chinese people have the women, like, whipped over there, too? And she still cut yeah. off his dick. Um, the, the man's name is Fan Lung, and he sealed his fate when he decided to use his wife's cell phone to send his secret lover a hot and heavy email. But he, the 32-year-old forgot to log out of his account when he sent the message, and his 21-year-old wife, uh, who was now oh under God. arrest for grievous bodily harm, came across and saw the exchange. Oh my she God. snapped, the jilted lover went berserk, oh. grabbed a pair of scissors, stormed into their bedroom, and chop it, chop it, the people. Uh. Wow. So he was immediately rushed to the hospitals where doctors were able to save the appendage and sew it back on. Wow. But Fang was able to sneak into the recovery room where she <laughs> chopped it off again <gasps> and threw it out the window, according to CEN. Oh, my God. A shocked lung chased his wife outside. <gasps> so he, he chased her, and there's pictures <gasps> here of him outside bleeding, bleeding profusely from his groin, chasing her down in the middle of the road. Oh, my God. Uh, staff rushed out to see what was happening and found the patient with blood streaming down his legs, hitting the woman. He was stopped, and the woman was taken in for treatment, and then we discovered she had chopped his penis off again. Oh, my Despite God. Despite desperate search efforts, authorities were unable to find his manhood in time. Police believe it may have been stumbled upon by a stray dog or cat. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter oh that he's God. lost his fertility. He has five children already. But still, that, oh, my it God. It does matter that he's lost... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, bro! Oh my! How, how do you even like? Oh, not gentlemen? just once, but twice. Why didn't he have police like protecting him? Like, I mean, yeah. Oh. Appar how was she not under arrest initially? You know, how was she able yeah. to uh, d escape detainment? And I, I know there was something with the kids, but she snuck into the recovery room and you know used a scalpel, chopped it off, and she anybody. chucked it out of the hospital bedroom. So then he ripped out the IV, ran downstairs, chased her outside, and there's photos of him. Right here, all over the New York Post, oh naked, standing there with blood streaming down his legs. They have it, you know, somewhat censored, but he is just pummeling her. And as they were treating her for injuries that she sustained at his hands, obviously he was angry at that point. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> God, dude. That is like the fucking... Dude, that's like the uh, the Patriots winning the Super Bowl against the Seahawks. You're like, you're about to win. <laughs> you, you know what I mean? Like, you're about to win, and then all of a sudden you just lo you throw an interception. You know, you're about to have, you, you have your dick sewed back on. You're like, oh, thank God. And then she... <laughs> and then throws it out the window. It's like, no. Imagine having... I mean, I can't imagine having my dick chopped off one time. This guy had his penis chopped off twice. Yeah, exactly. My God. Uh, oh, the pain. I, I, I've, I've actually, I actually had emotional issues for a couple nights. I'm not joking about this. I'm not afraid to say it. I had some issues because I lost a half a tooth. Like, I went, one night I was like, it's not there anymore, and it felt weird that it wasn't there anymore, and I felt like I was missing a part of myself, and I'm not even joking. So imagine if you lost, if I lost my penis. Like, I, would, I don't know what would be no, happening. I don't think I will ever try to imagine that curse. Thank you. Oh, like, what does the stub yeah. start to grow? Oh, Just my God. the idea has me, like, curling into the fetal position. It's I'd never wish this even on my worst enemies. Yeah, I would never want to do this. This is crazy. She should be locked up. I mean, I know he's a dick, but he I'd rather take a bullet to the head. <laughs> There's a lot of things I'd rather have happen. Uh, um, speaking of, you know, wild bedroom antics, did you? I don't know if you want to make a separate video possibly, but did you hear about Cuba Gooding Jr. and the no. outrage that he sparked? No, go ahead. Uh, uh, what's um, he done now? He went ahead and I guess uh, he experienced the wrath of the Twitterverse on Sunday after lifting up the dress of his co-star, Sarah Paulson, yeah. while they were at the Los Angeles Paley Fest. So as the fellow star Kathy Bates was being introduced to the crowd, um, Paulson... 
uh, tried to get a little sniff. Cuba Gooding, as she went to sit down, he grabbed the sheath of her dress and like lifted it up to look under her skirt, basically. What? Rape, rape. Um, they appeared to be in a playful mood. I don't even think she realized what happened. And then somebody tweeted him saying, "Hi, dude, did you apologize?" And uh, you should, if you didn't, because what you did was gross and disrespectful. And the- I just lost my internet connection. Okay, everyone. So, uh, well, I'm glad we got that choppy, choppy of the PP story out there. Uh, the Cuba Gooding Jr. story. I really was interested to see what Jake was going to say about it. Uh, but I suppose it will be continued because uh, we've lost our internet connection here, which, oh, oh. Well, guys, if you want to support the show, please subscribe down below for more Shame on News. Usually it's longer than five minutes, uh, but because of the internet issue, I'm going to make the call to end this. But uh, please comment down below, click the like button, and stay tuned for more videos right here on Shame on News. And uh, also, if you want to support us, go to my other Patreon, which is from my other show, patreon.com slash Joe Cronin Show. Or if you guys want to support on the main page, there's a PayPal thing there if you want to send anything to uh, support us. You are the ones that fund the show since Google has demonetized almost every video uh, that I have because that's what they do now. So thank you guys very much for watching and check out these other videos by us, Shame on News.